Okay, so it's going to be a short video going over how to install your receiver onto your MT4 so that I can connect to it and copy your account. So we're going to start from the top. First off, before you even download your files, go into your MT4 and set your MT4 up. What do I mean? I mean, you got to set up the MT4 so that it will accept the receiver and work properly as soon as you put it onto your MT4. So what do we do? You go to tools, go right here and go to options. Make sure you go to expert advisors and you check off allow automated trading, allow DLL imports, and allow web requests for listed URL. You're going to have to put these two URLs <coughs> into Put this one into the first box, put this one into the second. All you do is just click the plus sign. Matter of fact, I just make an example right now. Uh, go back up. But either way, you put those in one by one, not side by side, put it just like this. Those two URLs right here make sure you put those in and you click ok make sure it goes in just like this no spaces at the end no spaces at the beginning http some code slash slash put those urls in click ok all right <clears throat> Now you go to where you downloaded your file onto your computer. Here it is. I have my file right here. So I just open the file up. So once I open the file, I select everything in the file. Then I copy it. I minimize this. And I come back over to my MT4. I go up the file, go down to open data folder. Because all of those files, I'm going to put them in one folder. So I open up my MQL4. I go to my experts folder, open that folder. Find a clear space, right click, and I paste the files into the experts folder. So the files show up. Those are the files. You have your files for MT5 if you use MT5. MT4 if you use MT4. Don't worry about the remote copier. It just comes with the package. You don't need that part. <coughs> and this is your scalper. We'll get to that part next. This is your manual guide, which will walk you through setting up your receiver. So if you want to read through that, that's what this is. But I'm walking you through it right now. So just read it later. All right, so you got your files copied. Close that window out. Come over here to your navigator. If you don't have your navigator pulled up, it's right here. It says navigator. Click it, click it. All right. Right click over here in your navigator and refresh so that the files show up. Those are the files. All right. So, what do you do next? Only thing you do next is drag your trade receiver onto the chart. Doesn't matter what chart you're using. Make sure allow DLL imports is clicked off. You're right there under common. Allow DLL imports is checked off. Click OK. Wait for it to load up. Now everything looks just like this. That's what it's going to look like. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your provider list. Don't touch anything else. Just go to your provider list. Go to add provider. This is the account number that your trades will be coming from. This is the account number. 992-5603. So I just put that in there 
and I put a description. What's my description? <coughs> Click OK. Do you want to say provider 9925603 slash payday trader? Yes, I do. So click on provider list and make sure it is saved. If it's grayed out, good, it's saved. Click OK. Now, your receiver is still disabled, but when you click on the disabled button, it will enable and it will be connected to all providers. But if you click on it and it has not been enabled, or I'm sorry, it has not been connected, that's because if I don't put you in, to my list, you will not be connected. It will say your account is disabled or removed by all providers. You get a message, something like that. So, unless I have your account number, which this is your account number right up here on the top of your MT4. If I don't have your account number in my receiver list, two one. Zero zero seven oh five eight seven seven. So once I have you in, it will say connected to all providers. But you have to have this in your account provider box. Make your description. Click OK. All right. So the scalper. How the scalper works is you have it already over here. If you put all the files in the same folder, you're going to have to disable this or open up another chart. So I, I'll just open up um, I'll open up another chart. So the scalper, you do the same thing. You drag it onto your chart. Go over to common. Make sure allow DLL imports is checked off, even though you already checked it off in the back office of your MT4. Just glance at it, make sure it's checked off so that it works properly. You know that it's working properly. After you click OK, and you see a happy face in the top right hand corner, um, some numbers and stuff will pop up. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work on crypto. I'm just trying to make an example on this chart, but uh, it may not come up on this chart. Um, so let me see if it comes up on the other chart. So this you go, you right click, whenever you wanna remove it, right click on your chart, click on expert advisors, click on remove, it'll remove it. So let me go to this chart. Scalper, drag it over there. <coughs> um, the market isn't open, so it may not do anything, but I just check it out. Allow the other import is checked off, yeah. Happy face in the top right hand corner, yeah. And uh, it, it usually shows up, but it's the weekend, so it's not it's not showing up. But um, here are your settings. So let me remove it. That's how you put it on the chart. So when you do put it on the chart, let's say market is open, you want to go over to input so that you can set it up. This is how you're going to set it up. Leave this, leave this on the four-hour time frame. It's going to be better. Uh, do not touch this. Start hour, stop hour. Don't bother it. You have your lot sizes right here. You can change it. 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03. You can change it to whatever you want to change, depending on what your lot size is. I suggest leaving it at 0.01. It's going to scout pretty good at 0 0.01. Or you can, you know, boost it up whenever you, you know, are able to if you have the account. So this part right here. Change this to 
and click OK. So that's it. You're going to change this to 1.5. You can change the lot size if you want, and that's it. Don't touch anything else. Click OK. And once it comes up, you know, if the market is open, it'll come up. It has some numbers right here. They'll be running. It'll show you what's going on, percentage of your drawdown. And, your, you know, it'll show you some things in, in the yellow and with some yellow numbers. <coughs> um, it's not going to show up because this market is closed. And it's not showing up on this chart because this, uh, this is crypto. Crypto, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Crypto is just kind of kind of weird. I did I did try it on crypto, but um, mm, results were mixed. So let me see uh, real quick. Let's see. 1.5. Make sure you change that. Outside. <coughs> click OK. And this is what it'll look like. It'll come up. It'll have your account number. Obviously, it'll have my name. Um, have the balance, equity, current drawdown, current floating, you know, everything right there, your lot size, and how many times it's being multiplied one and a half at, at that rate. Anything higher is going to be a lot more. Just don't, 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 just leave it at 1.5. And if anything, you, you can increase your lot size. <coughs> um, but that's it. That's how the scalpel works. And whenever you want to take it off of the chart, right click on the chart, go to expert advisors, click on remove. And uh, you may have to refresh this page so that it goes away or just, I don't know, close the chart out or something. Yeah, so um, but that's pretty much it. That's how the scalpel works. That's how your receiver works. So um, you'll be added to the other Facebook group later on today where you'll get all your charts, your markups, your training, your sessions will be in there. Live trading will be in there. Uh, training where I take you through a, a complete setup from start to finish so that you know going in psychologically how to analyze. It doesn't matter what pair, any pair you put on the chart, I can analyze. It doesn't matter what time frame, any time frame you ask me about. I can pretty much put them all together and let you know what they're going to do. So that's basically without indicators, right? Because indicators, <coughs> you know, they have to follow what price is doing. So if you want to know what price is doing, regardless of what an indicator tell you, indicators is already behind. It's telling you what price is doing. So price has to happen before the indicator can even tell you. So uh, let's show you how to look at the charts with no indicators. All right. So, um, that's it for this video. Once it downloads, I'll upload it, drop it off in the group. See you guys later. Take care.